Hi there, I'm Jennifer Grenz and I'm a coordinator for the Invasive Plant Council of Metro Vancouver. And today I just put a video together of some work that we're doing to control scotch broom. Um, the work that we did in particular in this case was uh, for the BC Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure uh, to control scotch broom in an area that's adjacent to another landowner who is actually actively managing scotch broom um, because ordinarily we actually don't do a lot of management on scotch broom because it's um, a lower priority species for us. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not important, it's just that it means that there are other species um, that are probably causing a higher economic impact that we need to take care of first. Um, but in this case we had an opportunity to control scotch broom and what we're finding is the most um, economic way to go about doing it is to utilize the cut and paint method. The cut and paint method basically is cutting the scotch broom at the base and painting it with herbicide. What this does is it allows us to attack a number of plants much more quickly with a high degree of efficacy. We tried this last year and got 100% efficacy um, that we can tell so far uh, in this growing season. So we will keep monitoring that. Um, but just as an example, on in one day we did um, almost 200 plants. So uh, it's a lot quicker than um, pulling it out or digging it out for the larger plants. We certainly do pull the really small ones because they're quite easy. Um, but anyway, just um, I have a couple videos and some pictures of what we did um, and I definitely recommend trying this uh, approach if you are looking to get rid of a large amount of scotch broom in a short amount of time. So you, today we're um, at the north end of the Queensboro Bridge and we're here because um, on the other side of that fence there is a dog park that is uh, run by the City of New Westminster and we're just trying to take care of some broom that's adjacent to their site. So now we're over on this side on a hilltop just getting rid of some and uh, we just completed that entire hillside over there. You can still see broom laying down, but we've cut it all and then painted it with glyphosate. So once that all dies down, it'll be a pretty different looking hill, that's for sure. To control the broom in this instance, what we did was cut the plants with um, saws or just clippers uh, or even hand pruners, depending on their size. Uh, if they're really small, we actually just pulled them straight out and then we painted them in this case with uh, glyphosate uh, we used Vantage XRT um, and uh, just with a paintbrush and a bucket and what's great about this method actually is what we found was we used very little herbicide we did almost 200 plants and only used about um, 100 mils of herbicide so very very little herbicide uh, no non-target damage in this case because again you're just painting the stumps with a, a paintbrush and uh, I, you know I was just super impressed by basically the reduced amount of herbicide we were putting out into the environment which is great and um, also we left the broom plants where they lay so as soon as we cut them we just left them in that spot they will break down over time there's no risk of them starting new plants we also tackled these early enough um, that they're not in seed, so we don't have to worry about seeds maturing on the cut plants and then dropping. So we actually caught these plants just before flower, which is really the optimal time to control these plants. Instead of um, a handsaw, you could definitely uh, use a chainsaw um, however we're not ticketed to do that so that wasn't the approach that we took and also the plants that we were dealing with were probably more in the medium stature there are a few really big ones um, but you know a quick clip with a clippers was no big deal at all 